pipes. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Pass off. What was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second. And now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. Normally I like to talk about games I thought sold well or take a little longer to find. This, however, is not the case of Max Payne 3, which was released by Rockstar on the Xbox 360, the PS3, and the PC in 2012. This game is a single player third person shooter, known for a great story, great visuals, and great gameplay. Max Payne 3 is the last installment of the Max Payne series. However, it doesn't have any involvement of the original developers Remedy Entertainment or the original writer Sam Lake. However, James McCaffrey does reprise his role as the voice of Max Payne. The story is vast and complicated, and is best experienced by playing through the game. However, I'll give a brief synopsis of the beginning of the game. Nine years after the events of Max Payne 2, Max has retired from the NYPD and spends his days at a bar in Hoboken, New Jersey, basically nursing his alcoholism as well as his addiction to painkillers. One evening, a man named Raul Passos approaches Max, claims to be a police academy batchmate, and offers him a new job, which Max, of course, turns down initially. But during a drunk and violent argument, Max shoots the son of local mob boss Anthony DeMarco, who puts a price on his head and orders the entirety of New York Jersey's crime underlings to kill Max. After killing most of the game with Passos' help, Max decides to leave his old life behind, taking Passos' job offer as a private security contractor in South America. And this is where most of the game takes place in South America, mostly in Brazil. But you do get flashback scenes to New Jersey, which are actually really fun to play through. One of the things you'll notice right away in Max Payne 3 are the eye-pleasing visuals. There are many vibrant colors, but yet they still play close to the roots or styles of the previous Max Payne games. You can tell it has a little bit of GTA style, and since it was developed by Rockstar, it's kind of expected. Another difference in this installment is how the story is told. Max Payne 1 and 2 utilize a storyboard aspect with voiceover from James McCaffrey. Now this is a more a FMV aspect of storytelling, but in my opinion it's actually a good change of pace. James McCaffrey again delivers a great performance through these scenes, leading the player to feel some sympathy for Max as well as the other characters, as well as the storyline going on. Rockstar decided to keep the same gameplay pretty much in Max Payne 3. However, in this installment, I feel like the controls are a little smoother. Returning is the Max Payne staple, the bullet time effect. He also has the same weapon layout with the wheel, as you can choose between machine gun, AKs, his Berettas, or even grenades, rocket launchers, etc. And his health booster is always known as the painkiller. One thing that really stands out is the more attention played to the covering mechanic, as Max can hide behind just about anything as well as interact with mostly anything, which is a good callback to the previous games. Max can look at computers, TVs, documents, and even find little Easter eggs that go back to the previous games. So keep a lookout for them when you play. The only downfall of this version of Max Payne is that it's not backwards compatible on any of the home consoles. So if you want to play it, you have to have either 360, a PS3, or you can play via the PC. Yeah, I highly encourage you to try this game out. Not just for the action, but for the beautifully written storyline. I myself fell in love with the Max Payne series, going back to the original Xbox, so I would consider myself a super fan. And when I found out Rockstar was making a new version of the game, I was really excited, and to be honest, I believe that their vision actually was very good. Now, some may think this will be the last Max Payne in the series. We can never know. But it was announced recently that Remedy actually purchased and acquired the Max Payne series rights again. So maybe something might be cooking up in the future. But until then, as always, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.